Hello, my dear students. My name is Mrs. Mariam Farid. Uh, today, we are going to cover uh, vocabulary of module six into your course book, Pioneer, page 80, uh, 68. Uh, but before uh, reading the text itself with you, I'd like to uh, ask you a question. I want you to imagine what would happen if one day you uh, discover that you can't see uh, the colors around you. You can just see uh, uh, green or uh, gray instead of the other colors. Of course, um, I, I don't think that you are going to be happy with this case. Let's read what happened for uh, someone who discovered that he had a color blindness. Um, read with me the text, uh, slide two. <coughs> the title of the text is Out of the Blue. What does it mean, out of the blue? Yes, we are going to talk about colors in this text, but the title itself, out of the blue, means something which is unexpected. Uh, I was 22 when, I, when it happened. I was riding my motorbike when a car or a cat ran out into the street. I braked hard to avoid it. I tried to stop the car, but landed head first on the, the asphalt. I mean this black substance that we can find in the room. Unfortunately, I wasn't wearing a helmet. I remember the pain of the impact. After that, it's all blur. What does it mean? I couldn't see. Nothing was clear. I can't recall a thing. A few hours later, I woke up in hospital looking up at the worried faces of my parents. I had a headache and a few cuts and bruises. And of course, I mean by uh, bruises, some dark uh, spots into your skin because of this accident. Other, other than that, I felt fine. However, as my eyes adjusted to the light of the hospital room, I noticed that everything looked as though it were tinged with pink, green, and gray. Everything was dyed with pink, gray, and green. I couldn't see any other colors. I was sent for eye tests and was told that I had developed tritanopia. As a result of the accident, it's a rare form of color blindness. What does it mean, tritanopia? It's a rare form of color blindness, in which the color blue appears grayish green and yellow appears pink. People with uh, tritanopia can also have difficulty distinguishing between green and blue. I was deeply depressed by the news. I couldn't bear the thought of not seeing blue again. As it also happens to be my favorite color, just seeing it makes me feel calm and content. Yes, it was his favorite color, blue was his favorite color, and he couldn't see it again. Painting is something I do as a hobby, but after my accident, I stubbornly refused to take it up again. I refused to uh, uh, paint again. I thought, what's the point? I could only see a limited range of colors, and I knew I wouldn't enjoy it as much as I used to. So my old set of paints, I mean the brushes and colors that I used in painting, were stored away, I kept them away, and any reference to them would create an atmosphere of tension. I wouldn't be happy to remember uh, uh, this hobby again. Of course, due to the problem that he had in uh, seeing colors. My sister used all kinds of tactics to get me to paint. She used every way that she could just to push me, to encourage me to paint again. She pleaded with me. She tried to persuade me by offering gifts or treats, I mean by treats, to pay someone, to pay for someone's food or drink. When she lost her patience, she would even shout at me, but she couldn't change my opinion. Slide three, then one day, out of the blue. I mean here suddenly. And of course, you have to understand that the, poet, the, the writer here is using this expression, especially because it has the color blue. And we have a problem with the color here. 
She told me to get into the car and we drove out to a nearby, to a nearby beach. It used to be one of my favorite spots for painting. It's a stunning place with endless golden sand, deep blue waters and hills covered with thick green pine forests. I looked at the scene before me with my new perception. I mean, with my new way of thinking about the others. The sky and the sea were shades of green and gray, and the sand was the color of strawberry milkshake. My sister handed me my paints and a piece of canvas. I mean, it's a strong, rough piece of cloth in which we can paint. I'll be back in two hours, she said with a smile and left. I was reluctant to begin. I didn't want to begin, but finally did so, thinking it would take me one step closer to my new reality. Initially, I thought of painting the scene the way I remembered it. After all, I had painted it many times before, but I changed my mind and painted Pricelessly what I saw, instead of painting it in its normal colors, I changed my mind and I painted what I see. I mean, he couldn't paint, he couldn't use blue color again. Um, when my sister saw my painting, she was stunned and insisted on entering it in a local art competition. It was very distinguished one. I came third. But the judges said they admired the originality of the colors. This unexpected outcome made me resume my painting, of course. I was very happy to, have, to be the third one in this competition. And I began to realize that people may appreciate even my color blindness. Then one day, I woke up and the world had shifted back to full color. It was as if my days of color blindness had been a dream. The doctor had mentioned that regular color vision could be regained at any time, but I was not prepared for this abrupt change, this sudden change. Even though it was closely followed by an intense feeling of joy, I was, I was very happy. I was overwhelmed by anxiety as I worried that people would no longer appreciate my paintings. Yes, I was very happy because people began to appreciate my paintings due to my color blindness. But now I, I lost this color blindness and I was very frightened that people wouldn't like my paintings again. Uh, this, however, proved to be completely untrue. As I have become a well-known artist, I have kept the paintings I did during the period of color blindness and sometimes I gaze to look for a long time at them and smile to myself. It's a time that has made me see the world through different eyes. Yes, this time in which he, in which he had this color blindness. It's a very easy and interesting uh, text. Uh, let's try to understand or to talk about the new vocabulary that we can find here, uh, slide four. We have abrupt, it's sudden and unexpected and often unpleasant. Adjust to become more familiar with a new situation. Blur, something that you cannot remember clearly. Brake, to make a vehicle go slower or stop using its brake. Bear, to accept, it's verb here, to accept, tolerate or endure, especially something unpleasant. Canvas, a piece of this cloth used by artists for painting on, usually with oil paints or the painting itself. Color, blind, unable to see the difference between particular colors, especially green and red. Content, pleased with your situation and not hoping for change or improvement. Slide five, disability, an illness, injury or condition that makes it difficult for someone to do the things that other people do. Hand, to put something into someone's hand from your own hand. Indifferent, not thinking about or interested in someone or something. Intense, extreme and forceful, very strong. Judge, 
a person who is in charge of a trial in a court and decides how a person who is guilty of a crime should be punished. Patience, the ability to wait or to continue doing something despite difficulties. Originality, the quality of being special and interesting and not the same as anything or anyone else. Out of the blue, as we have mentioned, completely unexpected. Outcome, a result or effect of an action, situation. Perception, the quality of being aware of things through the physical senses, especially sight. Plead to make an urgent, em emotional statement or request for something. Precisely, I mean exactly. Range the amount, number, or type of something between an upper and a lower limit. Reality, the state of things as they are, rather than as they are imagined to be. Recall to bring the memory of a past event into your mind and often to give a description of what you remember. Slide seven, recover to get back something lost, especially health. Reference a mention of something. Regain to take or get position of something again. Reluctant, unwilling to do something. Resume if any if an activity resumes, or if you resume it, it starts again after a pause. Shift to move or change from one position or direction to another, especially slightly. Store to put or keep things in a special place for use in the future. Stunned, very shocked or surprised. Tactic, a planned way to achieve a goal. Slide eight. Willing describes someone who does their work um, enthusiastically. Vision, the ability to see. Debt, something, especially money, which is owed to someone else. Mayor, a person who is elected or chosen to be the leader of the group who governs a town or city. Narrate, to tell a story. Take away, to remove something. Town hall, a building in which local government officials and employees work and have meetings. Wallpaper, thick, often decorative paper used for covering the walls and sometimes ceiling of a room. Influence to affect or change how someone or something develops, behaves or thinks. Slide 9. Now we are going to talk about some expressions in which we are using colors, but of course it, they would give you another meaning, more than the color itself. We have be in the black. I mean to have money, for instance, in a bank account. Be in the red, to be in debt. Be tickled pink, to be very pleased or delighted. Catch somebody red-handed to discover somebody the moment they are doing something bad or illegal. Give the green light to give permission. Green with envy, I mean very jealous. Have the blues, I mean to feel sad. So we have out of the blue and we have also here have the blues, I mean to be sad. Once in a blue moon, I mean very rarely. Pass with flying colors to do very well. See red to become very angry. Slide 10. We have also here some verbs uh, that we can uh, start them by using RE. I mean to say, for example, rebuild. But of course, we have different meanings here. Rebuild means to build something again. Reconsider to think again about something. Recount, to describe how something happened, to tell a story. Nothing here is again. Redecorate, to paint the inside of a house or put paper on the inside walls when this has been done previously. Remove, to take something or someone away from somewhere or off something. Reschedule, to agree a new and later date for something to happen. Research to study a subject thoroughly. 
restored to return something or someone to an earlier good condition or position. Resolve to find the solution to, rewrite to write again. So some verbs you may use RE to say again and some uh, uh, would give you a uh, different and new meaning. Slide 11. We have here some exercises just to test your understanding if you could use these words in sentences. Number one, I had to persuade, adjust, plead, request with my mom all day before she finally agreed to let me go out on Saturday night. Number two, I was totally unaware of my brother's plans to come home for New Year's and must have looked stunned, content, intimidated, certain when he walked the door. Number three, an old school friend phoned me yesterday completely out of the blue, golden, grayish, red. We haven't been in touch for ages. Number four, when the aircraft landed, it hit the ground with such tactic, range, impact, shift, that I seriously thought we had crashed. Number five, children have their own blur, judge, canvas, perception of the world. Try to answer them to test your understanding. And I hope that you enjoyed our lesson for today. Thanks a lot for your great attention and goodbye.